What's going on, guys? It's your boy, J Money. It's your boy, King J Money, a.k.a. J Money. As you know or should know by now, my videos for YouTube is being brought to you by none other than Skyview Empire Entertainment via the uh, YouTube app. Um, today's uh, video is going to be about the um, start of the baseball season for the New York Yankees and the New York Mets. Um, and I'm going to give my final thoughts on Aaron Judge and him um, not taking the Yankee offer and what the Yankees should do um, going forward. So thank you very much, guys. Um, once again, before I get into the video, if you like my type of uh, videos, if you don't mind, hit the like, subscribe, comment. All right. Again, like, comment, subscribe, guys. It's your boy, King J Money. Um, all right, guys, let's get into the video. All right. <laughs> um, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. Um, Yankees are doing good so far. We're 2 0. Oh. Um, pitching is holding up. We're doing all right so far, but we could do a little better. Um, when it comes to Aaron Judge, I mean, what more can I say? He's 31 years old. He's going to be 32 next year. Um, he has a cap hit of either $17 million or $21 million, depending on what the arbitrator uh, decides to give him. For this upcoming season um, the only reason he's not signed yet is because the Yankees and Aaron Judge are trying to work out a contract extension for him to be a Yankee for the rest of his uh, baseball career um, my final thoughts are the Yankees did everything they could to offer him a good enough contract a good enough contract of seven years, 230 somewhat million dollars. And being 31 and going on to being 32 next year, I think he fit, he fit right in that category. Aaron Judge is not worth 10 years, 300 million. No way, no how. He's not worth that kind of money. I'm sorry. He's been with the Yankees since 2016. His first season, he was a, the, the runner-up for um, MVP. And I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, Rookie of the Year. I'm not sure. I, I forgot who won it in 2017. But... Um, he was runner-up for MVP, and then he got hurt the following season, and then he got hurt the, the next following season. So Aaron Judge hasn't played a full season yet, okay? Remember, we can't count 2020 because that was a short season due to um, the COVID-19 that was going on, and it's still going on. So, can't judge him on, on the 2020 season. But I believe the Yankees gave him a fair offer of seven years, 230 somewhat million over the next seven. And then um, going forward, if they had agreed to like about 21 million for this year or 17 million, that could have brought the deal to about eight years. Um, about 245 and with his age I think that's good enough for him now that he didn't sign the contract and he wants to wait until the um, off season I think the Yankees should trade Aaron Judge and get some elite starting pitching we need pitching that's what we need and that's what the Yankees should do 
he's going to bring us back a haul. So if he wants to go to one of these uh, West Coast teams, trade him to one of the West Coast teams. He's from uh, L.A. So you got the Dodgers, you got the um, Angels, you got Padres, you got Oakland. I don't think he wants to go to Oakland, though, but uh, who knows? But the um, Dodgers and teams like those, they have some good um, starting pitching. So, hey, give us some good starting pitching. Give us a good outfielder. I heard um, Brian, I think his name is Reynolds, from um, the Pirates, Pittsburgh Pirates. He's pretty good. So we could work out a trade with the Pittsburgh Pirates and give us um, some starting pitching and Brian Reynolds. I'll do that deal in a heartbeat. You know, we need a number two or a number one. We could get a number one for Aaron Judge. It's not a big deal. We could get a number one starter for Aaron Judge and put him behind uh, Garrett Cole and then have Brian Reynolds on the roster and a couple of prospects, and we could go on our merry way. He's not worth $300 million. That's all I'm going to say, guys. The contract that they offered him, it was perfect. But he thinks he's worth $300 million? By all means. But the thing that I don't want, I don't want to lose him for anything. I don't want to lose him for nothing. So if I was Brian Cashman and Hal Stambrenner and the rest of the guy, guys, Trade him now and get it over with. All right, that's my final thoughts. Not going to bring it up anymore until after the season. Um, for the Mets, they're doing pretty good, guys. Can't complain. Um, Joe Buck, not Joe Buck, I mean Buck Showalter, sorry. Buck Showalter has the Mets playing great right now. They're 3-0 and for the first time since 2012. So it's been a good 10 years since the Mets started 3-0. and And I told you, they have new ownership with the Coens and with um, Buck Showalter as the manager. You're going to see the difference in how um, the how Buck Showalter is operating as manager. Remember, Buck is from the old days, you know? So he knows how to manage. He doesn't care about analytics or he doesn't care about this and that and the third or whatever. He's a play your hardest, put your effort in, and do what you gotta do for the team. This is not a one player sport. This is a team sport. We got to do it together. And that's what he's all about. So kudos to the Mets doing pretty good. I got to tip my hat to them. Um, but hopefully we can get a Subway World Series again, like 2000, you know? I like to have fun like that, you know, guys? But yeah, it's your boy, J Money aka king j money holla at me let me know what's going on guys as you know or should know by now i come on here every couple of days to give you my uh thoughts on how the season is going and uh where we where where we're at at that point in time also i want to mention um the nba playoffs are coming um, about, but again, my New York Knicks were out, but I'll still try to stream the, um, the NBA playoffs, give or take, but when the off season comes about, we'll talk more about the Knicks and what they need to do or what they should do, and we'll take it from there, and once again, guys, thank you for, uh, checking me out again if you like this type of content 
and you like the things that I'm talking about, if you don't mind, please uh, like, comment, subscribe, share out the video, let everybody know. It's your boy, King J Money, a.k.a. J Money. I'm back on YouTube, guys. And if you want to follow me on uh, TikTok, because I'm mostly on TikTok now as well, along with YouTube, you can follow me at uh, at King J Money 03. Okay? That's my TikTok name, at King J Money 03. Type me in, I'll be there. All right, guys? And once again, quick. Um, my wife was coming out with her um, crafting company, Unlimited Crafting. Um, she's getting everything ready. So that should be up in the, in the next couple of weeks. That should be um, upcoming in the next couple of weeks. She does uh, candles, bath bombs, and things like that. But as she gets ready, I'll fill you guys in on more information. All right. It's called Unlimited Crafting. So once you see that pops up, check her out. All right, guys. And you won't be disappointed, guys. So holla at me. Let me know. Um, I'll see you on the next time going around, guys. It's your boy. King J Money, aka J Money. I'll see you next time. All right, guys? I'm out. Thank you.